What's going on, y'all? It's the Kid J. Nolan here, and I'm going to talk to y'all today about Kanye West filing patents and trademarks to release NFTs. Y'all know back in January, he told everybody, stop asking me to do NFTs. That's not my concern. I'm focused on making change in the real world. Well, a few months later, he's now singing a completely different tune. So his company, Mascot Holdings, has filed 17 trademark applications with the USPTO, and these trademarks include non-fungible assets and metaverse experiences, okay? Now, in particular, one filing notes the potential for providing an online marketplace for buyers of crypto and digital collectibles, currencies, tokens, and assets. So he's trying to create his own marketplace for one. So it's kind of crazy to think that somebody who was anti-NFT is now about to open up their own NFT crypto marketplace right now all of these applications are centered around the yeezus brand which was of course the name of his 2013 album these founders also indicate an intent to launch yeezus branded amusement parks toys uh blockchain based currencies uh physical and online retail stores so it's gonna have a merger between physical and online you're gonna have campaign buttons clothing and bags household items and cosmetics so I think he's had a very extensive conversation with somebody that's well versed in the NFT, in the metaverse community. I don't know if it was maybe Elon Musk that uh, convinced him to do this. I don't know, but that's a very hard 180 from somebody that was like, don't ask me to do a fucking NFT. You know what I mean? Very vehement, very uh, stubbornly placed statement. You know what I mean? Um, but clearly somebody sat him down and let him know how much money he's standing to make. And as much as he's reminded us that he's a six billionaire, you know, what I mean, it, it only makes sense that he would go try to make that money in the metaverse. Right. Plus, um, as we've always known of Kanye from the beginning of his career, he's always been about trying to uh, master the mediums that would allow him to be of influence in the culture. So for him to try to ignore uh, one of the biggest movements in culture right now, or at least one of the biggest uh, subcultures would seem a little bit crazy. So I knew at some point he was going to uh, circle back. I mean, if you're being innovative enough to create a STEM player for your album, you would be innovative enough to figure out how to get involved in the metaverse and blockchain and NFT. You know what I mean? It will only make sense. This is somebody who's done all types of interactive events. You know, uh, he's streamed music videos on Times Square and in London on on using buildings as projectors. Uh, so you would think somebody with that amount of creativity would be able to mirror that in the metaverse. So we'll see how that goes. All right. Like this video. Make sure you share it. And let me know what y'all think down below in the comments. All right. And like I say every time, if you're new here, make sure you subscribe to the channel. All right. See y'all on the next one. Peace.